Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Java, where we're going to continue working with our skills with arrays and also with strings and characters, uh, giving you knowledge of these little functions and methods that can kind of help you along the way in your studies of Java and in your practical programming. So what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to learn how to copy the contents of a string, the characters from a string, and put it into a character array. As you know, in Java, uh, strings are really objects and arrays are really objects too. But whenever you start to look at other programming languages such as C, um, strings and arrays are not really objects in, in those regards. So for instance, an array in, or I, sh I should say a string in the language C is just an array of characters. So even though you can kind of think of them that way in Java as well, really everything is implemented as objects. So there's many cases, especially if you're going back and forth between different programming languages, where you might need to take the contents of a string and put them into an array of characters. Um, there, there's, just, there's just lots of opportunities when you might want everything implemented as an array, and Java lets you do that. So first let's create a string, and I'm going to call this guy str. Right, and inside of this, I'm going to put my name, Jason Gibson. That's the string. Okay, I'm going to put that guy like that, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to create an array. I'm going to create an array of characters, and so the way you do that is you specify what is the array going to store. It's called a character type, and then I'm going to name it. I'm going to say array. Put my double brackets indicating that it is an array, and I'm not going to populate anything inside of this yet. I'm just going to say new. Uh, care bracket and how many characters do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12. So just to be safe, I'll, I'll reserve 15 memory spaces in my character array. So all I've really done right now is I've created a string called Jason Gibson, which remember is an object in Java, and I've created a character array, which is um, discrete memory locations. Each one of these memory locations, I've set aside 15 of them, can hold a character data type. All right, so it would be nice to be able to take the characters that are in my string and put them into the memory locations for my array. Now, the reasons why you would do that, they come later as you, as you get familiar with programming. I'm giving you one little motivation, letting you know that a language such as C, um, strings in C are not implemented as objects. They're, they're implemented as arrays of characters. So you might need to do this, for instance, if you're interfacing with C code, or maybe if you're just more comfortable doing it that way. There could be many algorithms that you're using that would, that would need to have the string implemented as an array of characters. So the way you actually do that um, is you would um, use the method attached to the string object, and the name of that method is called get cares. And you might think of it as getting literally getting the characters from your string and putting them somewhere. Now you can see here that it's trying to give you some help. It's trying to tell you the method is get cares. Um, it's an integer requiring where the source begins, integer where the source ends. Uh, this is a character array destination. That's where we're going to store it, what array we're going to store it, and, and an integer of where the destination begins. So basically what that's telling you is it requires four things to do this. The first thing it requires is the, the, uh, the, the index of the source. So the source, it already knows that this is str. That's the string here, str, that it's referencing here. So when I put a zero here, what it's telling me is begin copying from the zeroth index, meaning the first letter of this string. The next thing it uh, is asking is how many characters do I want to copy? So let's just say, for instance, I want to copy just my first name. That's one, two, three, four, five characters. So let me put five characters. The next thing it's asking me for is the destination. Well, I want to put it into this array that I have called array. All right. And then the final thing is it's asking me where do I store it in the array? I can, I can put it anywhere I want, but I'm going to go ahead and put it at the beginning of the array starting with element zero. And then I'll put a semicolon there. So you need to know how this is written, but again, if you forget, you can always just type str.getCares, and it's trying to tell you. In fact, if you go here, you can start reading about what this guy is. Basically, you need source begin, source end, character destination, array, array destination we're copying to, and where am I copying within that array. So I'm starting from element zero of my string. I'm copying five elements from my string. I'm storing it in the array called array, and I'm storing it at element zero, which is the very beginning of that array. So then if I do system, 
dot out dot print ln and inside of here at this point after this executes this line here then the the words the letters j a s o n should be stored in this array beginning at element zero so ar ar array element zero like this and then if I terminate that, then if I've done everything correctly, I should see a J print to the screen because that is what is stored right there. And I get a J. So let me go ahead and copy this and I'll paste a few more down here. Let me print out element one, element two, or index, I should say index, index three, index four. So I'm just printing out the first five elements from counting from zero to four of the array and hopefully if I've done it all right, J-A-S-O-N. So this is just verifying what this method's really doing. It's verifying that I've started at uh, uh, index zero from my string. I've copied five elements, which is this guy. I've put them in my character array and I've started at element zero in the array, in the destination array. So if I want to change this, for instance, instead of five, what if I want to do copy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I put a 12 here, then what's going to happen is I'm going to begin copying from element 0. I'm going to copy 12 elements from this string. I'm going to put it in the destination array beginning at element 0. All right. And then if I want to print everything out, let me go ahead and copy. And we'll just paste a bunch of times. And let's just say this will be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 10, 11. So if we've done everything correctly, we'll run, and what we get is JSON. This is each element of this character array is printing out J-A-S-O-N. The space is also an element, and then G-I-B-S-O-N is also printed out. Uh, and I'm doing that using the accessing each individual element of the array. Now, of course, I have a few empty spaces left over in this array. And the reason I'm do I've done that is just to give myself a little bit of pad. So basically, at this point, I think I've, I've gotten across the main, the crux of what I'm really trying to show you here. And that is that you can take any string you want and you can copy the individual characters into an array of characters. And you do that with the get cares method, which is a part of every string. It's, an, it's a method associated with every string. Um, I can specify what part of the string I'm copying because I can start. I can specify the starting point in terms of its index and how many characters I wish to copy. I can specify the destination array, and I can also specify where inside of the destination array to paste things. So if I change this to one or two, then that means that the pasting will begin. Um, the pasting will begin uh, after the array has started. So for instance, if I screw up here and put ten, let's say it's an accident then I'm going to try to copy and paste 12 characters into this array starting at location 10. But my, my array isn't really that long, so I should get an error if I do that, and I get an exception. Because when it tries to execute the get cares function, it's trying to start pasting everything in at location 10 of this array. It's trying to, to paste 12 items in, and when you start doing that, eventually you're going to get larger than the size of the array I have. So typically what you're doing when you're doing this is you're copying the entire string and you're copying into location 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on in terms of the array. So make sure you understand how to do this. I've got kind of a neat exercise to show you and give you practice with doing this and give you kind of a practical reason of when you might actually use this. So I suggest you go off to the exercise right now, practice it yourself, make sure you understand it. Again, it's not something you use every single day, but it's something that is very useful when you're dealing with strings and arrays in Java.